Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've been gone for a little bit, but I am back now. So every single Monday at noon, there will be a new video. If there isn't, I will give you a heads up in advance. Um, for today's look, I just wanted to come back and do something simple. So you can go ahead and glam this matte eyeshadow look up with a pair of falsies, or you can tone it down with something more simple or simply just mascara. This is good for night and day. So for this look, I used the KKW and Mario palette, the Artisan and Muse, and I loved it. I think it's honestly like the right mix of mattes and shimmer. You can use it day or night, really just depends on what you want to do, but I think it's absolutely stunning. It was super easy to blend, quite pigmented as well. Not too much fallout, which I appreciate, but I also don't mind it, so you might not want to take my opinion. So if you want to learn how to create this look, keep watching and let's get right into it. To start, I'm applying the Tatcha Primer. This can be applied using your fingers or a brush. Now I'm applying my foundation using a damp beauty blender. This is my preferred method. If you're looking for a full coverage, I would definitely suggest using a dense brush. Don't forget to apply the foundation to your ears and your neck. For eyeshadow primer, I'm using the Urban Decay Primer in Eden. Blend it out and then set it with a translucent powder. I forgot to fill in my brows on camera, so here are the products that I used. As always, I'm starting with my transition shade. Now using this shade, I'm going to apply this to my crease and to my outer V. And now to add more depth to the eyes, I'm using my 217 brush and I'm applying this shade to my outer V.
taking this shade, I'm going to apply that to my lid as well as my brow bone a little bit later. Now taking a blending brush, I'm going to blend that lid color into my crease so it's seamless. It is now time to curl my lashes. This makes a world of a difference, especially when you're using a good lash curler. Now it's time for concealer. I'm applying this under my eyes and I'm also going to use this as a highlight for the rest of my face. I like the concealer to sit under my eyes for a little bit, so I'm going to go blend the other areas first. Unless my eyes are super dry that day, then I won't. If you let the concealer sit under your eyes for too long and it becomes difficult to blend, I would definitely suggest to either mist your face with a spray or reactivate your beauty blender using Fix Plus. And now we set and forget. Make sure that there's absolutely no creasing before you do this. Now it's time for contour. I'm using a fluffier brush because I'm not looking to get a super chiseled look. I'm just looking for a slightly defined cheekbone. And for my nose, I always switch over to an eyeshadow brush just because it's a lot smaller and I can be more precise with it. Time for bronzer. So I can add extra warmth to my face, I apply this right over the contour shade. And now it's time for blush. This is my absolute favorite, so I'm gonna apply this quite generously. Now it's time to finish off the eyes, so you're gonna use the exact same shades as earlier and you're gonna apply them to the bottom. At this point, I decided I wanted to add a little bit of smoke, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm 
I applied my eyelashes off camera and then I'm just going to apply this to my waterline. I usually prefer a brown because I feel like the black is a little bit too extreme for my eyes. So I recently discovered this mascara and I love the brush. I'm usually not very particular about anything besides the wand, brush, and the fact that it's waterproofed and this is doing the trick. So for my lips, I start off with the lip liner and I also apply that to the entire lip. That just ensures the longevity of the lipstick. And then you'll notice that I'm going to go ahead and take a little lip brush and blend the lipstick into the lip liner. Now I'm adding my favorite spray to set my makeup and to add a little bit more glow. Then I go in with my highlighter because I feel like it just blends a lot better and looks more skin-like. And for my nose, I'm going to switch over to a much smaller brush. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a little while, but I hope we can get right back into the routine again. If you want to see any specific tutorials, please let me know in the comments below and I will try my best to create them for you.